here right now is uh, the freshman portion of our concert band. Um, uh, they meet uh, every day for an hour, um, including a day where we have sectionals and sort of various pull-out things. But um, they're an excellent group of musicians, and they're a very spirited bunch, um, <laughs> which can be taken a variety of ways, but they're excellent people. Um, we do have a few upperclassmen who, um, by chance of fate, are sitting up here, and I'd like to recognize uh, Andrew I, Alex Droster, and Drew Peck for, uh, for dealing with this all year. So another round of applause for <laughs> Uh, and then lastly, uh, I have an entire section that's been omitted from the program, and uh, I, am, I am deeply apologetic for this, but Elijah Fellers, our only oboe player, has been neglected from the program, so Elijah is here, and well. <laughs> the piece you're about to hear is called Alligator Alley, and it's a very interesting and unique composition. Um, there's something called time signature, which tells you how many sort of beats there are per unit of time. And this one is mostly in 5-4, which is an irregular time for most musicians to play in. The reason for this is that the composer uh, has recognized the alligator as having four legs and a tail, making a total of five parts. So uh, that represents the, the, the meaning behind the time signature. Uh, you'll, you'll hear at the beginning the alligator theme, which sort of um, has sort of sharp um, percussion hits, and uh, we have a whip in the back so representing the, uh, the uh, alligator's bite. And then we have the hunter's theme represented by the trumpets. Are we backwards? There we go. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, representing, represented by the trumpets in the second half, the hunter's theme. So it's a very complex, very interesting piece of music, and this is Michael Doherty's Alligator Alley.